Halloween spook has been created by a woman who works in Monaghan. Emer Conlon created the book Vroom Town and she joins us now. Emer, they're impressive. How long did this project take? Well, would you believe the project is in the making for about three years now? And um, I got the inspiration, I suppose, um, from Makazani Motors, which is a company I work with in Monaghan. I'm the marketing manager there, and they're the main Scania dealer, as you know. And yes. looking out the window, I suppose, on trucks every day uh, gave me inspiration to maybe there's nothing out there at the moment um, for children who little boys love their trucks for children who would like to um, engage with trucks and characters of saying, you know. I know we have one of them here, Sean oh, McCaffrey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Um, no, but getting back to it, like, I mean, they're very, I've just been looking at them, they're very attractive to the eye, easy, the lovely colours, and, and the name's very catching. Can you tell us about that? Yes, well, um, I really, I suppose I had the names before I had anything else and then I was able to get luckily I was able to get somebody who could actually draw because my scribbles Julianne wouldn't be great now they're definitely not what you see in front of you there yeah. and um, I had the characteristics and the personalities of the trucks and then and then the, the, the names just came to me you know and I actually have five other titles of books ready to go no um, way they're already written and another 30 um, that are in the pipeline at the moment. So I'm hoping this is actually going to be a series of trucks about Broomtown where all these uh, trucks have their adventures and they play and live together. And yeah, because you see like how much children loved cars when it came out and then you have, yeah. I suppose, Thomas the Tank Engine for trains. And this is another uh, area there. But um, as you said, there, there's a lot of kids that just, boys especially, like I know there's girls out there that love trucks and, and lady truck drivers as well. So it's, like I mean, it's really unique. And was the artist local as well, Emer? The artist, yeah, well I initially, um, I got initial sketches done from a Dundalk girl, uh, Cathy McKeown. And then I really, my vision was to have the characters that they see in front of you there, Julianne, but they are vibrant and they're actually more cartoony than drawings, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I needed to get myself an illustrator, and that's John McCormick. He's from Dublin. Very um, good. Who was really brilliant, as you can see. Um, and we worked closely in trying to get the characters right. As I said, I knew what I wanted. It just didn't come from the head to the pen for me. So. I can see them being very enjoyable, Emer, for the pictures for the younger. And, and then when they start reading, then, the, you know, what age bracket were you looking at here? Well, my age group there is five to eight year olds but you're very right there in what you say the vibrancy of the colors will be for the you know the five year end if you like and then the words as such because there's a few new words i think for for children will be more the higher end of the eight year olds you know um and the good thing about it as well is that it's linked with the website broomtown.ie and children again can go on there and play games there's loads of free stuff on there and like that there's games for five year olds and there's extra levels slightly more difficult for the eight-year-olds because to keep them all engaged and you know i don't want anybody thinking oh that's too easy peasy for me you know mm -hmm. and like i mean when you when you started like as you said three years working on this obviously working at it along with fulfilling your full-time commitments at, at work yeah. was it was it tough going oh don't be talking <laughs> if you talk to any of my friends now they're like oh please stop giving out but i was working very very long hours yeah very long hours and what happened to me was I would come in from work and um, I'd start on the book um, and things like that. And then I kind of turned it around a little bit insofar as I gave the book a lot more time yeah. as well. Um, because well, it shows. It definitely okay. shows. Like, I mean, what, what kind of reception have you got or where is it available? I've got amazing reception from family and friends. I've put it up on Facebook just two days ago and the comments are really genuinely overwhelming. And now, literally, I'm a marketing profession by trade, and I'm now doing both a national campaign and local campaigns to get it into the shops, you know. So it's in, it's in local libraries at the moment. And um, I'm, this afternoon now, I have various appointments with, with shops, etc., locally in Monaghan and Sundalk to, um, to get it on the shelves. But I'm also approaching the larger national retailers as well. So there's a couple of different aspects to the yeah. campaign, you know. I, I think people, you know, have to realise just because you write a book doesn't mean it automatically gets to the shelves that there's a lot of work involved in getting that. But will you come back and let us know about how you get on and where it's available? I'd be delighted to.
Emer Conlon, thank you for joining us on today's News 90. And for any of you interested in the book, Roomtown will be available at Neeson's in Monaghan from tomorrow, Friday. Now, join us in the studio.